name of Jesus. Will you turn with me to Acts chapter number 27? Acts chapter number 27. Acts chapter number 27. Right now, turn to Acts chapter number 27. And we're going directly to the word of God. And we're coming from you, verse number 22. Acts chapter number 27, verse number 22. Ah, Acts chapter 27, verse number 22. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, who I, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Paul, fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. The Lord is good and gracious to us, and we give him the glory, the honor, and the praise on tonight. Tonight, I just want to talk for a few minutes from this subject, I believe God. Somebody repeat back at me, I believe God. Uh, whenever you're doing great things for the kingdom of God, you must recognize recognize that the enemy will always try to do something and you must be cognitive of the fact that the enemy has no victory. Somebody hit me back and say the enemy has no victory. We recognize that God is the greatest power and we shall never be defeated and so tonight as we come to this word of Wednesday I need you to hit me back and say I believe God. One of the things that God has been trying to teach us in this COVID season is that we would trust him where we cannot trace him, that we would believe him, that we would hold on to him, that we would grow up in him, uh, and that we would know that if God gives us a word, that God is not a man that he should lie, or the son of man that he should have to repent. We must recognize that the enemy's plight uh, is to steal, kill, and destroy. But somebody hit me back and say, I believe God. There are so many promises that God has made to us. Uh, uh, and the Bible says that even found in the book of Hebrews that, that God is not that when he had no one that he could swear to, he swore to himself. We must then recognize that this COVID season or this quarantine time was causing us to come back to our relationship with God and to believe him, not just for simple things, but, but to believe God for impossible things. Uh, the Bible says that with men, things are impossible, but but with God, nothing is impossible. We must recognize that even in this hour, that the enemy is already defeated. The Bible gives us to know that as we are in this season, that whatever God has promised us, uh, God shall perform it. Uh, we must then recognize that the enemy is not only defeated, but the thing that which God has given us, he shall perform it. Somebody tag me and say, God shall perform it. Uh, you must recognize as we come to the book of Acts, we are introduced to a man by the name of Paul. You know Paul. He was a persecutor of the church. Uh, but then he has an encounter with God on the road of Damascus. Uh, uh, when he has that encounter with God, uh, something changed uh, about all that he did. Uh, he no longer persecuted the church, uh, but he became a viable apostle to the Gentiles. Uh, you need to understand that when God saved you, uh, God gave you an assignment. Uh, when God saved you, he released you uh, from the things that the enemy would try to do. Uh, you need to clearly understand that when God saved you, uh, he gave you not only an assignment, uh, but he gave you power. Uh, um, you need to tag yourself tonight and say, God gave me power. Uh, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Uh, and one of the things that this season should have taught us uh, is that God is still on our side. Uh, somebody must tag me right now and say God is still on my side. Uh, as we come to chapter number 27 uh, and beginning uh, really this context or this story begins in chapter number 21 in the book of Acts. Uh, but when we get to chapter number 27 
heaven. Uh, there is a dialogue that is now taking place. Uh, uh, and one of the things that you must understand about the rest of this year uh, is that God is getting ready to do the impossible in your life. Uh, but you cannot be one of those persons uh, that believe God sometime uh, and don't believe God all the time. Uh, the Bible says that now faith is uh, the substance of things hoped for uh, and the evidence of things not seen. Uh, you must recognize that whatever God is going to do, uh, I say it again and again, uh, that your faith must be equal uh, to what you're believing God to do. Uh, you cannot believe God with your left hand uh, and have no faith in your right hand. Uh, you must rise to the occasion because uh, the Bible says that we go from faith to faith uh, and from glory to glory. Uh, you need to understand that in this hour, uh, that if God spoke it over your life, uh, it's going to come to pass. Uh, will somebody just put in the chat uh, what God spoke over my life? Uh, it's getting ready to come to pass. Uh, not only is it going to come to pass, uh, but those persons that are even with me uh, shall be uh, a part of the blessing that God is getting ready to give me. Uh, the Bible says that even beginning back in chapter number 21, uh, there was a word that was spoken over Paul's life. Uh, you need to understand that there are some words uh, that were spoken over your life uh, for the past five years uh, that now you must trust God uh, to see the manifestation. Uh, I wish I had a church that would say manifestation uh, because there is always the the timing of God uh, that brings you to the place where God is getting ready to show you uh, what he has spoken about you. Uh, the Bible says that as we look at chapter number 27, Paul now has been arrested uh, uh, and he's been brought through or brought to the king Agrippa. Uh, Agrippa recognizes that Paul is truly a man of God. Uh, uh, you need to testify and tell somebody I am a man or woman of God. Uh, I hear Paul saying even in the book of Romans uh, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, I want to encourage somebody uh, that the Bible says every knee shall bow uh, and every tongue shall confess uh, that Jesus is Lord. Uh, this is not an hour that you should hold down your head uh, because you are a Christian uh, or because they call you a holy roller. Uh, this this is not a time that you should forsake uh, the things of God, uh, but you must rise to the occasion. Uh, the Bible says that we are the salt of the earth uh, and that we are the light of the world. Uh, the Bible says that when Paul has a conversation in front of Agrippa, uh, Agrippa the king says, you almost uh, persuaded me to be a Christian. Uh, we should be persuading men and women right now uh, that this is is the season, uh, not because we're in Christmas, uh, but because God uh, is ushering us into a greater season uh, that we must tell a dying and perverse generation uh, that Jesus is Lord. Uh, by the time we get to chapter number 7, uh, Paul now has an assurance uh, that what God has promised, uh, he shall perform. Uh, let me say it one more time. Uh, what God, what God God has said uh, he shall perform. Uh, I promise you I won't be with you much longer. Uh, the ship that they're on, they're in uh, an upside down situation. Uh, I don't know who I'm preaching to right now, but you're in an upside down situation. Uh, you don't see how God is going to do it. Uh, you don't know what hour God's going to do it. Uh, but you need God to do something right now supernaturally. Uh, let me say this, if God... Uh, has given you a word, I suggest tonight, hold on and believe God. The Bible says that Paul says, I understand that it looks dangerous. I understand that the sea is in a turbulent position, but I've got a word from the Lord. One word from God is all I need. The Bible says that even in the book of Romans, chapter number three, let every man be a liar, but let God's word be the truth. Because God is not a man 
that he should lie uh, or the son of man that he should have to repent. Uh, I want to suggest to us tonight uh, that what God is getting ready to do, uh, uh, all you've got to do is trust him. Uh, trust him with all your heart. Uh, trust him with all your mind. Uh, don't let the enemy get into your ear gates. Uh, don't let the enemy try to confuse you. Uh, don't let the enemy try to tell you that it's impossible. Uh, I hear the word of God saying uh, that nothing is impossible with God. Uh, oh, it may look impossible to you, uh, but it is not impossible with God. Uh, the Bible says that they are now, uh, they are now prepared uh, to possibly go on broken pieces. Uh, and it does not matter sometime how, uh, how you get to your destination, uh, how, uh, how you get to the place uh, that God intended for you to go. Uh, all that matters uh, is I get to where God has promised me. Uh, and the only way that we can get there tonight uh, is we've got to believe God. Uh, somebody said, but uh, I came to tell you there are no buts. Uh, I came to tell somebody tonight uh, you might be, uh, you might have a diagnosis. Uh, the enemy has probably tricked you uh, to say you're not going to come through the surgery. Uh, but I want to suggest to you tonight uh, that the Bible says with his stripes uh, we are healed. Uh, because why? Uh, because I believe God. Uh, I believe that if God created this body, uh, he can go into the operating room with me uh, and he can cause what is in my body to be taken out uh, and I can recover uh, and recover an expedient way. Uh, I want to suggest to somebody uh, that tonight it may look like uh, that things are not turning the way uh, that you want them to turn. Uh, but I want to say to you tonight uh, that my God shall supply uh, all your needs uh, according to his riches and glory. Uh, I want to suggest to everyone that's listening to me tonight uh, that no weapon that's formed against you, uh, it cannot prosper. Uh, and every tongue that would rise up, uh, it shall be condemned. Uh, I'm getting ready to close my Bible, uh, but I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt, uh, when the angel came and spoke to Paul, uh, it was not something that he did not know, uh, but it caused him to believe God. Uh, he said, I've trusted him before, uh, and if I trusted him before, and he brought me out uh, then I'll trust him again uh, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight uh, but if you trusted God uh, in your last situation uh, I suggest to you tonight uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart uh, and lean not to your own understanding uh, but I want to say to you tonight believe God uh, believe him with every fiber of your body uh, when the enemy says it can't be done uh, you come back at the enemy uh, and tell him to get out of your mouth Get out of your thoughts uh, and think on these things. Uh, if there be any praise, uh, if there be any virtue to it, uh, if there be any delight uh, that comes back to God, uh, I'm going to praise him. Uh, I'm going to let the devil know uh, that I believe God. Uh, I believe God so much uh, that I believe God that he's going to bring me through this. Uh, oh, sometimes we ask God, uh, don't take me through this. Uh, don't let me go on. Uh, don't let me have to go through this test. Uh, but sometimes testing uh, will cause you to believe God uh, more than you can ever imagine. Uh, I want to bring this story to an end tonight. Uh, and I want to say to you that Paul says, uh, be of good cheer. Uh, uh, somebody need to shout right there. Uh, I want to say to you tonight, uh, be of good cheer. Uh, that means that while you're going through it, uh, know that you can give God a praise. Uh, while you're going Going through it, uh, know that God is where He is. Uh, heaven is His throne, earth is His footstool. Uh, oh, all He's got to do is pat His foot and things start to change on your behalf. Uh, Paul says wherefore uh, be of good cheer. Uh, uh, then he says for I believe God. Uh, will you just touch yourself in these next few seconds uh, and say I believe God. Uh, I believe God so much uh, that I believe in for the impossible. Uh, oh I hear God saying on tonight uh, you need to rise up uh, and say no matter how I'm going to get there. It might be on broken pieces. It might be with tears in my eyes. But I believe 
God. I believe him. I believe he's a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe that he can take care of my finances. I believe that he can open doors that no man can close. David said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I believe God. Somebody scream back at me and say, I believe God. I believe God so much. I believe him for another generation. I believe in that we're coming out of COVID. I believe that cancer can be healed. I believe that God is a deliverer. I believe that he can bring high blood pressure down and low blood pressure up. I believe that God can give you the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. I believe God. I believe God can be a comforter like no other comforter. I believe God that he can make me the lender and not the borrower. I believe God. Paul said no matter how it looks, I'm going to believe God. I want to say in this month of August, no matter how it looks, no matter what CNN is saying, no matter what the skeptics are doing, I want us to come back and say, I, I believe God. I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. Somebody needs to post on your mirror this night and you need to say I believe God oh I decree and declare that what God is going to do is going to blow our minds if we can just hold on hold on for these next few hours and be of good cheer I believe God how how could Paul believe God because he had a word from God Ah. Uh, uh, some of y'all are saying, uh, but the word I got, uh, it hasn't come yet. If you got the word from a real man or woman of God, uh, then God has a way of giving you what he said. Uh, God is not the God that retracts, but he's a God that releases. And I hear God saying even on tonight that he's releasing, uh, if we can just believe him. Uh, I want to say to you tonight, uh, as I come to the end of my message, you cannot have a faith uh, that's wavering. Uh, you cannot be double-minded in this hour. Uh, you've got to know that God is God. Uh, he never changes. Uh, he never sleeps or slumbers. Uh, the Bible says, he that cometh to God must first believe that he is God uh, and that he is a rewarder. Uh, of them that diligently seek him. Uh, I want to say to you tonight, hold on and believe God. Hold on and trust him. Hold on and know that what he has promised you, it shall come to pass. I want to enlarge your faith tonight. I want to increase your faith tonight. I want to push you tonight. I want to shove you tonight. I want you to know that this is the season that you must believe God. God is doing the miraculous. God is doing things that is going to blow your mind in a pandemic. Somebody keeps saying, oh, but a pandemic. Pastor Wallace, a pandemic, a pandemic. Do we not know that God blesses in a pandemic? Do we not know that if we can believe him and if we can trust him and never doubt him, then he has the ability to bless us. Paul said, be of good cheer. Oh, take that sad face off and put on a smile on your face and say, I believe God. I believe him so much. I can count the minutes that God is going to bless me. Somebody tonight that's listening to this message, I want to encourage you to hold on and believe God. Believe him in this hour that what he has promised you. Some of you that are listening to me, it's been five years and three years and you're still waiting. Hold on. And believe God. The Bible says at the end of the story that even though some made it on broken pieces, the Bible says that none were lost and everybody got to the other side. I want to tell you, we're going to get to the other side. And God is going to bless us. He's going to bless us. He's going to bless us. How come he's going to bless us, Pastor Wallace? He's going to bless us because we trusted him in a pandemic. When CNN and everybody else was saying we couldn't do it. God's going to show his mighty hand because we believe God. 
How can I believe him? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I want to pray tonight that our faith would be increased and that we would believe in God. We would believe God for the impossible. We would believe God for doing the abundant. He said, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. If that is your testimony tonight, I want all of you to prepare to sow a seed of $20. Cash app, dollar sign, Agape Cathedral. Sow that seed on tonight. Why am I sowing a seed, Pastor Wallace? You just preached. It's okay. Don't, don't start coming off now. Uh, we always sow back into the ministry. We always sow back. Why am I sowing? Because then I say to God, I believe what I have heard. I believe what I have heard. Too many of us are shifting when we should be sowing. Uh, tonight, I'm going to ask every person that's listening to me, don't leave now. I've not prayed yet. I want to pray for you that we would enlarge our faith and that we would believe God. Paul had lived long enough with God to know that there was never a situation that God could not be trusted to get him through it. Let me say that again. Paul had lived with God long enough to know that he could trust God even in an awkward situation. And God would still get him through it. How do you think that Daniel in a lion's den made it? Because he believed God. How do you think that the three Hebrew boys made it through the fire? Because he believed God. How do you think that the woman with the issue of blood had enough courage to go to the hem of Jesus' garment? It was because she believed God. I want you to sow that seed tonight. Sow that $20 seed to Cash App Agape Cathedral. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. I want to pray tonight. I feel the spirit of prayer. I want to pray for you tonight. I want to pray that you believe God for the impossible. I want to pray that, that the enemy doesn't come in and try to snatch your faith. I want to pray for you tonight that, that, that you don't permit um, gangsayers to speak into your ear and divert you from the promises that the God that you serve has made. Somebody saying, I, I, I've got that seed. I'm ready to sow that seed. Pastor Wallace, I, I want you to sow that seed tonight. You're sowing that $20 seed on tonight. And you're sowing it to Cash App. Agape Cathedral, Cash App, Agape Cathedral. I want to wait a few more minutes and then I want to pray. But every person that's listening to me, somebody said, I don't have a $20 seed, I've got a $10 seed. But tonight, by your faith, you are sowing that seed. By your faith, you are sowing that. You're believing God. Ashande, Yobo Shaba. Why do we, we keep saying, I believe him, I believe him, and then something happens and you don't believe him anymore. You cannot be in this place. You've got to believe him now. Now, you've got to believe him now. You've got to believe him now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I believe God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you and we thank you for this night. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We thank you that we can trust you. We thank you that even when the enemy came in, God, oh God, to divert us tonight, God, we thank you that your word has risen and saturated us, God. We thank you that we have victory over the enemy. And Father, I pray for every person that has listened on this night. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that if there's somebody that's going for surgery, that oh God, that they will come out better. And God, that even when the surgeon goes in, they will not find what they're looking for. I pray that somebody tonight that's in a financial situation, Father, I pray that they will believe you and trust you that oh God that you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory Father I pray tonight God that we will trust you and believe in you God we thank you for listening to us God oh God I pray that this anointing that resides on me Father would saturate this atmosphere God and oh God that we would trust and believe you God that even by tomorrow Father that you will show your mighty hand to us in 
in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray tonight, God. That God, that you will do supernatural things, Father, on our behalf, God. And God, we praise you because we believe you. We come against stress and anxiety. We come against the spirit of tiredness tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we believe you, Lord. We believe you as a mighty God. We believe you as a mighty king and we give you all the glory God and we give you all the honor Father and we thank you again and again we thank you again and again we thank you that we can trust you we thank you that we can believe you in the name of the Lord Jesus we pray and everybody said I believe God I believe God remember I believe God Sow that seed tonight. You're sowing a seed tonight. You're sowing a seed tonight by faith. We sow a seed back into the word that we've heard. And the word that we've heard is I believe God. You all have an amazing night. Remember, Sunday at 1230, you can always join me. Amen for our Zoom worship experience. And then next Wednesday night at 7.30. What is it? It's Word Up Wednesday. And so I'm going to ask that you will always come back and be a part of this great time of Word Up. Have a great night. Get some rest. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Let his face shine upon you because what? We believe God. Have a glorious night. God bless you. Bye.